Welcome to the Atabolan Stadium for Game 2 today. It's Presentation College against Shikwana's North Secondary. Second game uh, after we saw Naparima College defeat uh, the, their opponents from Pleasantville. Two goals to nil and Pleasant, uh, Presentation College who are in Group B along with Shikwana's North. Uh, this is a game that you would expect that Presentation College will take care of. But as you saw, sometimes when the, the relegation battle gets into fever pitch as it has with Pleasantville they can pull the side together and they can provide a more formidable uh, opposition here in the second uh, in this second game yes uh, if you are in a relegated battle I think it's more tough for the teams on tough on top because they are w when someone is in danger they are very dangerous yes uh, that uh, spirit of self-preservation that's uh, what should be kicking in here for this uh, Pleasantville for this uh, pleasant fresh presentation uh, well not only for presentation but also for Shaguanas North who are battling for survival their own survival in the competition they were trashed by the boys at uh, San Juan North earlier in the season and uh, they have bounced back they were actually able to get a draw I believe against QRC in one of their previous games so they would certainly be buoyed by that Presentation College, the defending national intercall champions. They'll have their opportunity to defend that title in uh, later on in October. Right for now, they are looking to win the National League title. So Prayers are looking to get uh, back to where their supporters feel that they should be. Uh, presentation seems to... So we're just about ready for the start of this game and the officiating panel just getting ready for it here. And here we go. There's the start of the match itself. And uh, that's uh, knocked forward immediately there by George for Shaguanas North. And uh, Presentation College playing in the yellow and blue outfits. They're attacking the goal to our right. And uh, Shaguanas North are playing in the blue outfits with the white trimming. And a presentation get us underway. Uh, that's uh, played all the way back. And uh, presentation looking to build on their performances so far. They defeated Naparima College here in the Tiger Tanks Cup in the opening game. And they certainly have uh, been formidable since then. They haven't blown away a lot of teams, but they also have uh, they've gotten the wins. They've ground out a lot of results here. And that's the feature of one of this, of a uh, Sean Cooper team. He's able to get uh, the most out of his teams. And that's, that's, I've son, seen them play against Mokorapu and they, are, they have won that game 2-1. And it was a, 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 a hard, hard 4-2-1 game. And they seem to try to, to, to play the ball as much as possible. Yeah, they, they certainly do. And have uh, you seen a couple of those uh, with our colleague Ruskin Mark? Yes. Here is uh, Jones now for presentation. Gives it away to Shaguanas North. And they will try to build through the middle of the park here. And uh, presentation. Have it on the left-hand side. Nice little move there by Jacob to get free. And uh, has uh, re preserved uh, possession here for presentation. And they seem to have a great speed on the flanks. Oh, they do, in fact. And here is uh, one of them. Um, Brathwaite uh, who gets down the, the right hand side Brathwaite again can he get the cross in his twin brother just in front of him that's yes. Malik Brathwaite Brathwaite both of them uh, according to the records we've been, been given here and they were both born on the 30th of November so they're celebrating a birthday in a few weeks time they normally ones normally play left and ones normally play on the right well, they it find seems themselves like it's on the same side today well they're not that they haven't shared a lot of room together in the past. Yes. First a couple of minutes here and presentation will have the first corner of the game. Has proven to be difficult here at Atta Bolden with that strip of concrete as you can see just there. But that's uh, hidden towards the back post and the header. Well, he didn't quite get uh, the most out of that there, Barkley. Still presentation take it over. Shaquanis North have, saw, have not seen the presentation half just yet they might now well not like that 
gone past where Johannes Donatian moving forward there for present for the Shiguanas team. Teams like uh, Shiguanas North in this short season with just the seven games, it's all about keeping your status within the Premier League. That's what you, you want to get. You want to stay up here. You always want to stay up and play in the highest level. That's uh, exactly what's on their mind at the moment. When you are down below, it's very hard to get out of. Yeah, and it's uh, difficult to get back up there because they are, everybody's gunning for that position. Mark Lane gets it back to Brathwaite and uh, regains possession. Here go the boys from uh, Coffee Street in San Fernando. Cecile Hines, the referee, stepping deftly back. She's right in the thick of action here. Gets a good look at uh, the action as presentation college methodically building up here's the here's young on the left hand side gets towards the byline and uh, that's a good cross yes. forces uh, the defender to get that clear that was thomas alex thomas who got it clear eventually and already we've seen presentation do which naparima college did not do a lot of get in behind the defense, uh, the defense. And, and try to get the cross in. good work there on the left side for presentation they have in the the corner and they've committed a, quite a few bodies up forward for this one. Eight men in and around the penalty box. Make that seven. That's Swung in towards the near post. Oh. The keeper's come for it. He's floundering at it. And the bounce has eluded several players there. That one was spinning away from uh, the forward who had come for it. Now given away here by Presentation College. And they're on the break here. Well, they were I trying to, to get forward there with Aaron Raymond. But uh, the diminutive figure of Aaron Raymond, uh, he was uh, stopped. And a few of the Naparima College supporters just arriving in the box behind us. <laughs> we're about 10 minutes too late for the end of that game, are they? Yes, I think they were in the stands supporting <laughs> us, supporting now they are behind us. So after they have won their first their game, the first game. Well, here's uh, Shigwana North's captain, Lee Van David. The skipper might try his luck from here. Good luck beating uh, Kanye Lazarus, but that uh, has been done before. Here's uh, Lee Van David with the uh, strapping on uh, his left leg. See what he does. He's going to try his luck, but well defended by the Presentation College defense, and they get it clear. Thomas is again there for Shigwana's North. I think today we have seen two games. The teams from the San, San Fernando area against the Central teams. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and uh, it hasn't... Uh, well, I, I'm sure that people in Pleasantville will want to correct you. They're, they're saying that uh, Pleasantville uh, also from just outside of San Fernando, so they would certainly qualify as South. That's why you need to spend more time in the South of Trinidad there, Sid Gray. Yes. Lovely part of the country. Yes, and uh, just like uh, where you are from, from Roxborough, we call it country, don't we? Yes, we do. Certainly San Fernando, one of the urbanized areas in Trinidad, called the second capital or the industrial capital of Trinidad, the second city in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. Presentation, coached, of course, by Sean Cooper, who has written his name in, a, in lights across uh, the history of secondary schools football over the last 23 years or so. Uh, that's uh, a corner conceded there by Thomas. Sean Cooper recently appointed also on the 30th of, of August as the national under-17 coach. It was relieved, uh, re revealed uh, yesterday or day before that, uh, that Trinidad and Tobago will play in Group F with the USA, Canada and Barbados. That is not the easiest of draws, is it? But Sean Cooper took uh, national team twice to the quarterfinals and just on the cusp of qualifying for World Cups. This one, the corner, knocked towards the middle of the area and that should be easy for the Shaguanas North team to get that clear. Yeah, another man who's uh, deserved his chance at the national level, Sean Cooper. Won multiple titles, not only with Naparima College, but with presentation also including the Intercol title last year. Don't forget the South Intercol title where they defeated yes. Naparima College on, on uh, kicks from the penalty mark. Presentation College have been so good 
during this season and they look to provide uh, to be more dominant here in uh, this game against Chaguanas North they know they can beat this team but uh, you'll have to get the goals exactly knowing you can beat a side you have to come out and play and beat them don't just say you can you have to show that you can beat them and uh, they will try to do exactly that here presentation college and uh, that's Malik Brathwaite has he conceded the foul yes he has and it is to Nkosi Fonset Nkosi Fonset the number 15 for Shaguanas North he's decided to take the free kick himself looks on to his coach there Anson Raymond Cecile Hines uh, another stickler for detail and we'd lo love to see this she's telling the youngster that you have to pull your socks up <laughs> All part of the discipline of playing. Rules are the rules. The rules are the rules. Yes, that's right. Nine minutes in. And Shaguanas North threatening here. And the header was just over the bar. And the presentation college uh, defender, that's Young coming in there, just getting it off the top of his dreadlocks and away for a corner. That was a dangerous free kick there. He put it in the right spot, in the dangerous spot there. And that's the thing about those in-swinging uh, free kicks they're always difficult to defend a lot of scrappy goals result from them this one's in towards Lazarus who does well he claimed that at the near post and uh, there was the big defender for Shikwanas that was uh, Alex Thomas there who has to head back <laughs> to do some defending now presentation would love to add to their national intercall title this league title but there's still a long way to go here presentation they have to first of all end up in the first two in this uh, B group and then negotiate the finals semi-finals and finals to be called national champions of secondary yes. schools football long way to go and as we have seen in other competitions that ended last night the team finishing fourth eventually won the competition yes yeah, the Jamaica Talawas uh, congratulations to the Talawas and uh, to Shivnarayan Chandapal and Sir Kirtley Ambrose, who first time in the, the CPL, they've uh, come up and uh, they have won the title. That's uh, great news for the Talawas who won their third title last night in Guyana. Shaquanas North trying to find a uh, purchase down this left-hand side. Not, nothing doing so far. Here's George for presentation, almost playing his team into trouble here. A presentation seems to be given. <laughs> giving Shogunas North. You know, they're keeping Something's them interested, aren't yes. they? Yes. Uh, a few mistakes around, maybe a few nervous moments, and we saw this with Naparima College also. As we get towards the business end of the preliminary stage of this competition, where you can't afford sli slip-ups. I think if the first goal goes into presentation, they will start to settle after that. Uh, yes. Might see them a bit uh, less anxious performance from them. Especially at the back. Swept forward here for presentation college. I think presentation college... I think they are missing their, sh their, their captain. Their top goal scorer. They certainly would be. Here's uh, Prez. Oh, that's another short pass that has uh, put Shaguanas North in. But they're so hemmed in here by the, the boys from Coffee Street that uh, they were not able to take advantage of that temporary slip. Here's Brathwaite. wonder if he's the younger of the two brothers by a couple of minutes. He seems to be the biggest one <laughs> in size. <laughs> A lot of uh, screams of support uh, from the fans. Uh, the presentation fans were here early. This one's hit towards the back post, headed back in there by Barclay, who prevented that from going away. Oh, that's a dangerous looking pass. And that's gone out. Well judged there by the defender for Shaguanas North. Uh, I think that was Imar, Imar Akwi. Yes. Saw that one going out. That's a nice first name, Imar. Of course, named after. Shabonas uh, North seems to be playing very compact in the in midfield and defense here. Yeah? 
Yeah, it's uh, been a disciplined performance, performance so right far. Now, yes. Aymar Acqui, named after the famous Argentine player who played for Valencia, Pablo Aymar. Came to Trinidad and Tobago a couple of years ago to play an exhibition match uh, when uh, the new FIFA president at that time was here, Gianni Infantino. And what a player he was. I'm sure you remember some of his performance, yes, uh, Pablo Aymar. Yes, I do. Some of my colleagues were there sporting on their Facebook pages, pictures with him. Yeah, I immediately deleted all of them. <laughs> Here's a presentation on the attack. And here's Sir Brathwaite with the cross. Two players at the top That's of the box. That was there. a vital touch there by Thomas. That could have been dangerous for Shaguanas North. Presentation committing bodies forward here. Three inside of the box, waiting for the cross. In fact, they'll have to reset here as the ball just goes all the way back to the center of defense. And then floating out of play. Well, Sean Cooper, very much like on the beseeching his players just calm down he's telling his players just outside of your picture Shiguanas North uh, tried to find a uh, to create their first opportunity of the game against this powerful and well coached uh, presentation college team I know there's a lot of interest in this game a lot of people are watching this game from different parts of the world wherever you are Thanks uh, so much for being with us here on Tiger Sports International. There's also a lot of interest in this game in Antigua, where a couple of our colleagues are glued to the television watching this one for a presentation, uh, students themselves. And wherever you are, thanks so much for joining us here. Presentation seems to not settle in fast enough. They are rushing the play, forcing the game. Sean Cooper has realized that because he was telling his players to calm down. Now here's a nice run by Lewis. Can he get the shot in? He does. After doing all of the spade work, then he muffs the shot. He did all the hard work, very all the hard work, just to get the shot off properly. Well, full mark so far for this uh, Shaguanas North team. It's been a compact performance for them. Let's see if they can now contend with this raid down the right-hand side for presentation. And presentation seems to be a slow starter of the game. From the last game I have seen them, they have always they started very slow. Yeah, so they hasn't been the best of starts for them. Got one raid down the right hand side. Here's Barkley just pushing away the defender. And the keeper has made the save, Aiden Raymond. And uh, Aiden Raymond has not had a lot to do so far. He's one of the smallest keepers in the competition. But uh, tell you what, he's a good shot stopper. Uh, we saw him uh, make some really good stops against uh, the one of the uh, Malik. Uh, in fact, they played against them at African uh, Recreation Grounds in Enterprise. That was an interesting move by secondary schools football. One uh, I've described as putting the healing hands on uh, troubled communities across Trinidad and Tobago. And that's 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 that uh, I think that's a great move. Uh, football has uh, done we so are much. People. Yeah, it certainly does. Uh, one remembers DDA Drogba's uh, appeals to his country in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which uh, some credit the detente between rival forces within the country, a ceasefire between them uh, to DDA Drogba's uh, industry. That's a handball, and uh, referee Hines was right there on spot to call it. She likes to get close to the action. Uh, that's uh, always. Great to see. Part of that uh, referee's course that we saw a little while ago, there was the RAP course, as they call it, referee's assistance program. That's very great. You know that she's always in the tick of it. Aqui. Well, presentation take it over again. On this uh, left hand side for Shaguanas North, they found little joy. They haven't gotten anywhere close. So it is uh, Presentation College looking to build down the left-hand side. More s methodical build-up from them. Here's Prathwaite. It's passed to one player. It's good work there by Benjamin. Benjamin's there again. 
uh, correction that uh, oh. forced into a clearance here presentation presentation seems to be having a lot of joy right now and Well, a lot of movement ahead uh, there, and the ball has been given away to Shagwanas North. Shagwanas North seems to be having oh, a lot of joy uh, in, in presentation. Yeah, they had in presentation a half. Well, very briefly there, yes. a point was given away. Nice touch. Yes. And here is Brathwaite. Brathwaite gets past one and the second, but that's a good bit of play. And that's a foul there. It was a foul there by Fonset, and that has given away a free kick in a dangerous position here. And presentation, ideal for the left footers here. Let's see, he's going to take this one. Very dangerous position here. Let's see who's going to take this, and they're looking on as a presentation. Uh, we are into the 19th minute of the game. No goals yet. Referee Hines uh, having a close look at the construction of this wall. And she's ruled that the foundation is in the right place. See, so he's going to go with this one here. Barkley, Barkley. Uh, referee Hines with a short foot. Uh, the wall, the, the, the 10 pieces seems to be very short. <laughs> yeah, it does seem a bit close. Here's uh, Barkley with a shot. That's deflected. This should be the keeper's ball. Tell you, he's played some cricket. You watch that spin come back towards him easily. And this could be very dangerous here. Raymond here with a nice little pass inside for Shaguanas North. Well, Raymond uh, has been the one bright spark for Shaguanas North in the tournament so far. They lost out 4-1 to Malik uh, in a game that they, they eventually won in the protest room because of... Uh, some issues, some administrative issues that Malik did not do. Registered play 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 unregistered play late players play. registered. Oh, that's uh, he's gone down heavily here. Free kick for presentation, and uh, the youngster we in question, Raymond, scored with an absolutely brilliant free kick from the left side of uh, the penalty area. Curled it in at the far post. It was a tremendous free kick from the little man. So still we await the first goal of the game here at the Outer Bolden Stadium. We saw just uh, two in the first game. Many would have expected more, but uh, we have to hand it to the uh, the Pleasantville this team. Put in a very, very good performance. This seems to be a very interesting move here, Vinny. The tallest guy is taking the free game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he's not a great header of the ball. Yeah, the, you would have expected him to be in it's the center, uh, front the, and center. In the box. So the free kick is about to be taken here by Presentation College. And they have uh, seven players inside the box. Uh, that's where he should have been. <laughs> now, if he were there, instead of the shortest man on the field, uh, that might have been a, a different proposition. That's what I'm saying. So here's how it happened there, Sid. Yes. Presentation uh, supporters have replaced the Pleasantville supporters who were in the area just in front of us here. And uh, they've been a little bit quiet. And yes. so certainly their fans might be a little bit uh, nervous at the moment here. This uh, short format. And there's another nervous moment on the far side as Young just takes his eye off the ball and it runs away over his foot. I think, I think the quick turn around of these games are taking a very very hard tone on these youngsters you can see the way they moved on the on the field there they, they seems to be legs seems to be very heavy yeah they, they look very leggy some leggy, of them yes and that uh, will certainly that effect will be more pronounced as the season wears on Presentation, get behind the defense on the left side again. Here's the cross. Oh, that might go in at the far post, not far away. 
very, very close there. Presentation College to another goal. To uh, their first goal, I should say. Not far away. Yes, Presentations, as soon as they get a chance on this on these wide wide plays, they try to put the ball as put the ball in the box. And that seems to be their trademark of their game. Yeah. That's uh, what we didn't see from uh, the the boys from Paradise past here earlier today. Still got the win though. Ground out a 2-0 win earlier. Presentation need to get a win here. It's not been a huge amount of goals for them uh, in this uh, tournament. Uh, there are a couple of 2-1 wins in there. So they haven't blown away teams. But the important thing, they've continued to win. And that's and that and that's and that's the important part. Very, very important uh, part of the game. You need to grind out uh, those wins. And uh, as uh, many who uh, follow the team from Manchester on the red side of Manchester, so remember those Alex Ferguson teams that ground out a series of one nil wins uh, on the way to many of their titles. It's all about the W after all. Exactly. You need just need a win, and then everything else will take place. There is uh, the small figure of Raymond. Gets it again. A lot of perspiration on his back. Look at the control there on the chest of the little man. And the shot from distance. Oh. Not far away. That was a good effort. Very good effort there by Jake Juan Benjamin. Got to put his foot through that. Couldn't keep it down though. That's a good 25 to 30 yards out. Yeah, it just didn't sit for him right. The breeze makes it sit up. And that's very dangerous. Yeah, very choppy conditions here at uh, the Antobolden Stadium where presentation are trying to get the better of uh, Shaguanas North. Uh, Shaguanas North have come on in the last 10 minutes or so. They're looking more confident on the ball. And uh, then as I say that, they give it away. Curse of the commentator. Apologies to Shaguanas North fans. Imar gets it away. And uh, more success here for Presentation College. Here's Lewis. Has some support here, Lewis. And uh, at the last moment, just a slip. Seen quite a few of these Shaguanas players slip up here on this Atterbolden Stadium turf. King for the Clarence there is David. Oh, they played that one well to get out of uh, the attention of the Presentation College players. But uh, Richards, Christian Richards there winning the free kick for his team. Well, there was a late change for Presentation College. Uh, Aaron Raymond uh, was not initially labeled to start the game, but uh, he was put in at the last moment. So looking down our team list here, we've been given 11 players, excluding Aaron Raymond. Well, Raymond has been one of the bright spots here. Yeah. Here's Barclay now. He has players at the top of the box. That's a good clearance there by David, Levan David, the captain there, stepping in to make the stop. 27 minutes gone. Here's ball. another good ball. Offside. But uh, Jones was in an offside position there for Presentation College. So overall, as we've crossed the halfway mark of the first half, it has been a performance that uh, Presentation College, they have dominated without dominating. If, uh, you yes. want to put it that way. Not much shots to the goal. They need to try to get in some more shots at the goal here. They are creating chances, but not the shots. A game that certainly has lacked goal mouth action here at Atterbolden Stadium in Kuva. And uh, very famous ground. Some fine memories here. Not if you're a, a fan of American football. So just around this area here, that's where uh, Jones sort of struck that brilliant shot that went into the back of the net. But the Americans out of uh, the 2018 World Cup, Alvin Jones. Curiously, that's the only goal of his career so far for Trinidad and Tobago. But what a goal it was. I'll take that any day. Yeah, so they would. <laughs> sure, your goal against Grenada was similar. No, no. Was <laughs> Not so easier. spectacular. Not so spectacular. 
did a lot of running, a little hard running. <laughs> Just a slippity. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Here's Kwashi, confronted by the defender, and uh, the little number three there, Aymar Akwi, has won the foul. More possession. Certainly it was more like 80-20 in the first yes. 10 minutes of the game, but in the second and Shogunas North 20, have, have been getting more and more into the game. Yeah, it's more like uh, maybe 60-40 now, or maybe just a little bit less, 65-35. And uh, once that little man there, Raymond, has gotten the ball, he's been able to provide some good moments here for Shogunas North. It's a great ball. Swung inside. into the area and headed away for the moment. With two players up there for Shaguanas North. So great credit to them. They're getting, the, they're getting bodies into the box. They haven't had a lot of uh, chances here. But they are getting bodies. They're getting players in the right areas when they do have uh, possession in the final third. Presentation supporters are getting a little bit anxious below us here. Hearing a few anxious voices below us. Some complimentary, uh, some yes. supportive, I think some Cooper, less so. Coach Cooper is very upset with his players. Yeah, in fact, uh, his motion to his players about 10 minutes ago was to calm down. And he's standing with his hands akimbo just outside of your picture. You can see he's very, very much upset with it. With, with with the intensity and, and, and the luster playing of his side. Yeah, couldn't have put it better myself. It has been a lackluster start here from presentation. We've seen them uh, play a lot better games here. There's Kwashi looking for the cross. Slips as he attempts to cross. Barclay was pulling away in the middle, but uh, never came to him. Shaquanos North looking for the scraps here, and they might find some joy here. Three players up for Shaquanos North. That ball played in, a little bit of a foot race on on the far side, and Lazarus claims that on the edge of his area. That's uh, good with the goalkeeping. Yeah, we've just seen one game with him so far, uh, Kanye Lazarus, and certainly very good for presentation. Big part of their win against Napoli College in that opening game. Saved a penalty. Free kick goes against presentation. Sean Cooper standing there with his arms folded. As if you're one of the naughty boys in class. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I think Sean, Coach, Coach Cooper, maybe he can't wait to get inside at halftime to give these guys a tongue lashing. No. We need to lift their game, the standards. But it's, to me, it seems that there are a lot of changes in, in his side. I would imagine that he has the hair dryer warming up at the moment. Here's uh, Shaguanas North and Raymond there on the end of that. Aqui. This breaks down again. A lot of uh, the play for Shaguanas North has come down this left side. And they keep giving it away. This yeah, is that, that's this the is other not, part of it. This is not like sh uh, presentation. <laughs> yeah, it's been disjointed, uh, yeah. disjointed performance here from presentation. And uh, the longer this goes on and they don't score, the anxiety level is going to ramp up here on them. Now, Shaguanas North, can they pinch a goal here? And certainly not from that, as our presentation go the other way. Here's Brathwaite. That's uh, just maybe inches away from a really good pass. Will that stay in here for presentation college? It has. And Young actually put it over the head of the defender, but he was pulled down. And referee Hines says that is a free kick for presentation college. Two players clashing there. The Shaguanas North player taking one to the lower, lower part of the back there. Sean Cooper is having a quick word with uh, Cody Cooper, his uh, skipper. And uh, the very animated coach here. He's very upset. Yeah, I, I would imagine he would be. Uh, the presentation college and the head coach Sean Cooper, the assistant coach Dunstan Williams also out there handing out some water. Here's our presentation attacking here. 
He's one of those coaches, Sean Cooper. He kicks every ball with this team. And uh, what a pair those two make, Dunstan Williams and uh, Sean Cooper. They actually played against each other in the mid-1980s as schoolboys. And here they are, coaching together here with presentation. Won a host of titles with Naparima in that late 1990s to early part of the 21st century. That period, they also won a lot of titles with Naparima. Yes. And now they've uh, reunited here, crossed, uh, crossed the San Fernando Valley here at presentation. And they've just continued to rack up titles. What a pair they've made. That's a player down here for Presentation College. And this is the number 14, Kwashi. He's been very active down this right side. He's had a couple of good crosses in. Found some space down the right. Right now, the fans are begging for a cross that might go in, as we saw with the earlier game. Yes. This, this game needs a goal. Certainly does. Might settle down the presentation team, and we'll see them. Oh, that was that a handball? Yes, it was. Thought they I saw that. Just, they are so lackadaisical uh, with their play today. This seems not to be presentation. Yeah, that uh, throw was behind the player, and then Thierry Henry, like against the Ireland, that is, pulled it on with his right hand. They would have called that a travel in basketball. There goes Shigwanas North, building in confidence here. Here's Raymond now off to the races here. And he's gotten the better of the two defenders. That's until Cooper came across and stopped him. See, when he tried to be a bit too cute, you come, he was there, he pulled out of the tackle. Certainly that, did. That and could have been very dangerous for him. As we look down the line of the presentation college, uh, Sean Cooper and Dunstan Williams, as I mentioned, played against each other's schoolboys on so many titles together. They certainly are the most successful pair of coaches in the history of secondary schools football. Uh, with us, And they've had success at two different schools. And that, that's been the remarkable thing about it. And they were captains of the rival schools during that period. Here's Raymond. Can he catch up with this? He does. He does no. Can't keep it Just in, went though. Just out of play. Yeah, Dunstan Williams was the captain of Naparima College. Sean Cooper, the captain of uh, Presentation during those heady days. Just outside of your picture, they're having a little tete-a-tete -tete there, head-to-head, -head, trying to discuss why things aren't working out here for Presentation College. Here's the George on the left-hand side and they find Jones here in some space for presentation great defending there by by Shogun us not yeah that uh, the cross was cut out and it was a really good stop there got the right foot out uh, to make the stop here come uh, Shogun us north uh, defending once again presentation Pushing them back. Uh, they've played more like a low block for most of this first half, but they have done well. It's been a maybe not a defensive masterclass, but it has been very, very competent from them. Shigwanis North. A presentation, presentation College trying to break through this. One of the great schools in uh, Southern Trinidad. And uh, they've competed, they and Naparima College have competed at everything number of scholarships, football, cricket, everything. Always hotly contested those matches. Tell you what, if it's uh, Prez versus Naps and Tiddlywinks, there are going to be some harsh words spoken between the players. I think Shogun has not has, has their, their tactics right today. Yeah, they said By their had. frustrating presentation, San Fernando here today. They seem not to have this, the flow that they, they're accustomed to. Presentation. San Fernando trying to get that flow back at the moment here here is uh, Jones as he tries to engineer another attack for presentation down the left side Barclay is after this one that's a nice move by Barclay gets the cross here that's a good cross just too far ahead of the man coming in for Kwashi who has struggled to keep this one in here is Brathwaite and Kwashi and there's the other Brathwaite there 
Raymond. Oh, look at that from the little man. Oh, yes, that's good work from Raymond. Yeah. And he gets a warm bit of applause from the small crowd here at the Atobolden Stadium. That's the look and the statue of Diego Maradona, doesn't he? Uh, the short, bunched uh, shoulders. Uh, maybe not quite as uh, heavy as uh, Diego Maradona was at the end of his career. But certainly a young Maradona playing for Boca Juniors. Uh, he has that look about him. And he has the tenacity to go with it. Yes. Presentation. Their passes are so wayward. I know Sean, uh, Coach Cooper will be very mad here today. Yeah, well... The hair dryer is warming up. And uh, the meantime, we are six and a half minutes away from half time. And the referee is, I think there's an injury here. Oh, the physio. There's a player walking off here for for Shaguanus North. Number and uh, it is Richards uh, who's come off. And uh, there is a bit of a problem here for him. The, the medic, Rhea Fenton, has gone across to check him out. And uh, good to see. Remember in the 1980s when you watched the bench, it was all players and maybe a coach or just one coach. Now you're seeing the staff has progressed. Uh, Shaguanus North, maybe not one of the well heeled schools in the secondary schools football league. They have a head coach in Anson Raymond, manager in Jermaine Raymond. Rhea Fenton is the medic, Eric Alfred the trainer, and Shania. Joseph as the assistant manager. Certainly, I'm sure in your days of uh, secondary schools, football, Sid Gray? I didn't no. have a physio. I didn't have a trainer. Uh, didn't have a trainer. Something. You had a coach, though. I had a coach. I uh, didn't uh, have a trainer. Maybe I might have had a physio. And the physio might have been the PE teacher. Right, that's right. <laughs> uh, possibly even the coach might have been the PE <laughs> teacher. teacher. <laughs> and uh, for some schools in those days, the coach was the vehicle that took you to the ground. Yes. So here they go again. Uh, so, uh, that's a uh, presentation down the left-hand side. Well, there have been few errors here by Chaguanas North. They have put in a very good performance at the back as they have knocked that one clear once again. Presentation College have looked very frustrated this very afternoon. Very frustrated. And the team in blue and black have, uh, will perhaps have left them black and blue at the end of today. This one breaks nicely here for presentation. Shine. They are players up. Towards the penalty area, flicked in and into the back of the net. There's the opening goal and presentation college score. And it is Barclay that puts it in. At the back post, no offside and one touch in. Here's how it happened, the flick on, here's the cross coming in. It was looking like a dangerous position. Flicked in towards Barclay. He looked like he was in offside well, position. Well, yes, I think you might be right. right. Well, the but official was, was exactly, exactly right. in line. So who am I? Who am I? I think he may have actually moved into that so position, position after the ball was played. But uh, let's give uh, the benefit of the doubt to the official. But Barclay was there. But that was a good finish because his uh, side was to the goal. And he had to turn and finish one time and does well. So 1-0 presentation finally break the deadlock in the 41st minute. And now presentation seems to be on the on the on the prowl again. Looking for a second just before the half here. This can do two things. Uh, it can light up presentation's play. It can also maybe put a damper on the Shaguanas, the quality of the defending here for Shaguanas North. Let's see how uh, what happens here. But the, the good thing is it's just before the half. So they will have a, an opportunity to have a word with their coaches and, and pull themselves back together. Altogether, it hasn't been a vintage presentation college performance. But uh, nothing wrong with the quality of the attacking there by presentation Asia. college. They had bodies up. They got in behind the defense and uh, three passes unanswered by the pre by the Shaguanas North team and there it was in the back of the net here's another uh, chance at goal he's got uh, maybe leaning back as he hit that one and that uh, predictably goes skying uh, into the uh, into touch and maybe this one goal can can lift presentation college plain plain they would certainly hope uh, it will lift them here oh, bad pass again 
Give it away. Keep giving it away. Very. Keep giving it away. Too easy. Under no pressure. And it has played. Uh, should want us north in. But uh, they weren't able to benefit from that lapse at the back by the presentation college team. His Barclay, played a goal scorer for presentation college. Uh, they come forward in numbers again. And that's and a, that's a good ball. ball. Here's Barclay again. Who gets it? Outside. He's in an offside position. But the first touch to get it around the defender was excellent. And he really, he was in a position there to shoot from the edge of the area. Unfortunately, just a few inches offside. A few of the Naprima College players all showered up and uh, just below us on the left-hand side, ready to, uh, watching to see how their rivals will come up here. Might be a few uh, cheers for Shugwanas North here from them, I suspect. Yes, I believe so. All fair play in uh, all fairs, all fair in love and war, as they say. Throw in for Shiguanas North, and it will be the diminutive figure there of Imar Aqui. with Shagunas North and here's Raymond again Aqui's there for him for support Aqui looks to chip it in off the body of Kwashi and that will be a free kick it's a free kick or join that's this uh, new format that has been tried here by the secondary schools football league added to the competitive value of this tournament though I think it's a new new one we'll have to see but I think everyone knows it has to perform right away if they want to win this competition. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Naprima College have learned that the hard way, haven't they? Yes. Uh, that loss against Fatima College has certainly damaged, uh, in a very large way, their chances of retaining their title. And I think that is offside again. He yeah. needs to watch his run. He's running too straight. Yeah, it's a bit more angle there from Barclay. That's what the coach might be telling him. And uh, not a lot of time played on. In fact, just five seconds of time added on for stoppages. And that is the end of the first half. And presentation... Uh, college lead by a goal to nil. Barclay in the 41st minute after a very frustrating 40 minute period. On the balance of it, Presentation College have been dominant in this first half in terms of possession 60 40. It was actually a bit more than that. Five shots on goal to the one from Chaguanas North, uh, but the one shot on goal on target for Presentation Station. that's all that mattered. And that's what you need. You get your one chance, you try to put it away. And they got their one chance and they have done that. And that's, that, that's why they are in front. But for all in all, I think it was a poor, for me, a poor for, for performance by Presentation College. I think they, they have given away the ball too easy. I think they need to step their game up and, and be more aggressive in, in play. Yeah, well, Sean Cooper is going to have a word with them today. Let's see how the, what effect that will have on the Presentation College uh, San Fernando team who lead by a goal to nil here against Chaguanas North. Join us in just about 11 time, minutes' time as we resume commentary here at the Atobolden Stadium uh, in Cooper.
Welcome back here to the Atabolden Stadium where Presentation College are leading uh, Shagwanas North. 1-0, uh, the goal in the 41st minute by Barkley. Uh, that put them ahead. Hasn't been a vintage uh, Presentation College uh, performance uh, so far, but uh, they are ahead and they've kept alive their chances of making it to the semi-finals of uh, Group B in the Premiership Division of the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools of Football League. They still have some work to do if they are to get into that semi-final and uh, then negotiate that to get into the finals of the competition. Just uh, seven games in the first round this year. I'm Vidya Ramphal alongside Sid Gray and uh, Sid, it is all to play for in the second half. Despite not scoring, Shagwanas North have been well worth the price of admission here today. Yes. Shagwanas North has made, made a game out of this. Out of this. They have frustrated presenta uh, presentation so much that they have been so sloppy that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite baffled of, of their um, performance right now. Well, let's see what happened in the halftime break. Has fired them up already. They've come out charging here. Our presentation college, Sean Cooper, I'm sure, has uh, been dispensing pearls of wisdom and uh, words of advice here uh, for them. And they've come out... Uh, very briskly here in the second half. Well, I think Coach Cooper will be very upset with his players, and I think he has given them a tongue lashing, and I think they, that should show his um, character and and his and his experience of coaching for so long that I think he can change these players' minds. Yes, young for presentation and, and, their, and their attitude towards the game. Yes, and uh, certainly we've seen a different attitude in the first minute of the second half. They already look like they're fired up here. How long is that going to last? And uh, how will the break affect uh, the Shaguanas North team? And uh, that was a really good finish by Barkley in the 41st minute that, have put, that has put uh, Presentation College ahead. Um, That's a hint a great of offside, touch there. but a lovely touch there that time by Jones. Jones turns away from trouble, maintains possession for his team. George... Yes, comes Brathwaite and uh, presentation. I believe have made a change, change. in the second half, and uh, just uh, we are seeing the appearance of Mikhail Edwards, who is now on uh, for Presentation College. Oh, was that a foul? The referee says no. Cecile Hines is the officiating referee for today. This one's knocked in towards Barclay. Tries to lay it off, but. Uh, doesn't uh, fool the man behind there. That's David who gets it downfield. And that's a great okay. clearance. Bit of a break in, here. In for presentation. A break. And this is Jacob who's looking to get the pass in. Jacob to Barkley. And uh, this is dangerous here. Barkley with a shot. That's a great save. And uh, didn't get the contact he wanted on it, Barkley. But Raymond did well to sprawl away towards his left side to make the stop. So whatever was said during the halftime break has had the desired effect here. But uh, Shawanas North looking to get one back. And uh, that breaks through the middle. Raymond is there. And uh, the diminutive figure of Raymond, you can't fall asleep once he's around. Anyway, he is a real battler up on the right side there for uh, the Shawanas North team who have held a presentation college at bay for large portions of this game. Here is Jacob trying to go around the defender. But Donatian is there recovering enough to put it out of play. With the style of play that Coach Cooper wants, I think they need a bit more pace on the flanks today. The style of play that I, 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 they seem to be he wanted to, wants to play. Dwelled on that too long there, Jones. Has to go all the way back to Worrell. Here is uh, Cody Cooper. For presentation college and uh, there is uh, one of the two brash it's uh, Malik and he gives it up and uh, now it's uh, Shagwanas North now speedy winger on the left hand side can he get past the second defender and uh, Cooper is so cool there just waits uh, for the striker to push the ball forward and then picked his pocket and uh, slipped him a business card at the same time and that was a smart piece of play there by Cooper yeah, very smart indeed and uh, we've seen several instances of that he's well marshaled there I'm sure that his coach, Sean Cooper, who was a defender himself, has passed on a few gems of wisdom in the defending department. Here's Young. That's another cool bit of play there by Young. Presentation College. And this is a... Oh, that's given away again! And that's banged over the bar. Well, he should have done a little bit better there. 
and uh, presentation college giving it up just in front of uh, their defense and uh, i think he just swung that over high over the bar there that was and that was a poor piece of play by the defensive midfielder there want to be doing a bit too much in that danger spot yeah, it has to be one touch in that area especially with edwards lurking around edwards uh, has mikhail edwards looking around looking for opportunities which have been few and far between here for this Shiguanas North team. Looked for Barkley that time. And uh, the cry is going up in the crowd, uh, come on Prez. That's uh, echoing around uh, the grandstand here at the Atterbolden Stadium. And uh, they haven't had a, a terrible amount to cheer about here, the Presentation College supporters. Just that that uh, goal by Barkley in the 41st minute. Here's the cross coming in, and that's uh, against the back there of Acqui. The presentation, get it clear. Here's Raymond trying to make something of a hospital ball. Manages to get in mm. front of the Presentation Shock College tackles. player. Young was there. Well, there was an arm draped around Young and by Donatian. And the referee has spotted it and has given a free kick. And a uh, very clever bit of play there by Donatia. Just bumping the presentation college player and just uh, pulling it with the right arm. And this is, seems to be shocking again. The tallest guy on the free kick. Yeah, that is uh, Cody Cooper will take the free kick. And yeah, he's, he's the tallest man on the field by some margin also. He might be more useful in the center. Here he is knocking this one in. That's knocked towards goal. And the header is wide of the mark. Raymond is uh, happy to see that one drift by his near post. Better conditions here in the second half for cooler. the it's players. Very, much cooler conditions. Yeah, the grandstand has thrown a very long shadow across the majority of the field. Uh, the presentation college keeper, though, is standing in a penalty area that is completely lit with sunshine. poor piece of defending by by one of the twin brothers i think he should have attacked that ball he waited until it dropped and then he was in a lot of problems there. it's Acqui with the cross here for shiguanas north no one was on the same wavelength nice set up ball into the inside left channel but there was no one no takers for the pass seven minutes into the second half and presentation still leading by a goal to nil and while they have uh, dominated matches this season they haven't exactly scored a ton of goals Trying to turn with it is Edwards on the far side, who's come on in the second half. Edwards again, trying to inject some pace and skill on the right-hand side for presentation. They're just putting the ball in, 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 in just a general direction. They are not taking much care with the ball. But I have to really give Shogwana's North due credit the way how they have played. Here's Young for Presentation College. This is a barnstorming run. And he's now found Young in some space here. And that's towards cross. the area. And, uh, well, Raymond was struggling to get across to that. Jacob and Young combining there. And they hung it up towards the back post. Presentation have not exactly shot on sight there, have, have they? Because Raymond is a bit suspect with those high balls. And uh, we saw that with the Malik Great game. Touch, yeah. Uh, that was Raymond there. The other Raymond, that is. Number seven. I believe they're brothers. They're just about the same stature. Yes. The goalkeeper is the taller of the two, but not by much, though. That uh, was a good pass, but no one closing in there for Presentation College. I think Presentation College needs to go a bit more care with the passes in, in the attacking turn broken down for them many times in that region back here for presentation college Jones Barclay uh, that's a uh, Brathwit and uh, here is George for presentation college into the and area that's a ball. dangerous cross Barclay is there again Barclay goes tumbling but the keeper has done well here Raymond to get across to make the stop well, the presentation players getting a talking to here from 
referee Hines, I think uh, it's not talking to, he's just inquiring about uh, the health of the Chaguanas North captain, David, took a blow to the back of the, the neck there. And uh, FIFA, they've done over the last 20 years, there's been a lot more awareness of uh, the concussions. concussions. And uh, you've had a couple of them yourself. Well, not a couple. You've had quite a few of them, haven't you? No, I only have one. One? Just one? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I only have known one. <laughs> you may not have remembered the rest. <laughs> That's uh, Cooper. Cooley, as always, getting it away from the forward for Chaguanas North. But his distribution let him down that time. Not a good pass at all. But, uh, just too far ahead of Benjamin. And uh, for Benjamin, it really has been one of those days you want to forget at the office. He's been out there without getting too many touches. This presentation have controlled the ball well through this match. At some point in the match, they were about 75% possession. Yes. Uh, not a lot of goal mouth action, not many shots on goal. Good little run here, Jacob. And uh, a squashy, in fact, who goes down. Great piece of skill there by Quashi. He's one of those guys you have to be careful with. He's very nippy on that on his feet. Low center of gravity working well for him and wins the free kick. Now, uh, is the big number five uh, Cody Cooper going to take this one also? I think, I think he is. I think number 15. Well, Barkley, the goal scorer for Presentation College, he says, Move away. You should go. You should go inside the box now. And he sends the tall figure of Cooper out there. And the other Cooper, that's Sean Cooper, the coach, uh, is, is pulling the strings, as you would expect. You really have to test the goalkeeper. Raymond is not the tallest or the most nimble of goalkeepers. In the meantime, uh, there's been a change here for Chaguanas North, and they have brought on their number eight. We'll identify him for you in a moment and identify the man who's come off. There's about to be a free kick here for Presentation College. And uh, here is Barclay with the free kick. And, and that's going in. Number two. After there, Paulson Barclay has a second goal. <laughs> Minute 57. And Barclay has, total, has doubled his tally and that of presentation. They lead by two goals to nil. And this was just a simple free kick. Just over the wall. Bounce just in front of the keeper. Keeper had no chance. Great, great finish by, by Barclay. And just as we were saying, he is suspect, uh, Raymond, in goal for Chaguanas North. Uh, because he's not the most agile of goalkeepers. And finally they get a shot at goal presentation college and they've scored. And I think a shoot on sight policy really has to be adopted by this presentation college team. Once you get into the position, why not have a crack at goal? And I think that that should be their, their, their goal. Uh, at least have a shot. Try him. Make him work. Let him make the mistake. Yes, and it uh, worked well for Naps in the last game. Uh, cross going in uh, by Caliste and uh, Naprima winning 2 0. Just to remind you what happened earlier Naprima moving up, uh, well, staying in third place, but. Uh, Half, well, they've cut down the gap to, to one point to the top two. Uh, Presentation College uh, very much in charge of uh, Group B, but still work to be done here for them if they are to wrap up a place in the semi-finals. Headed up into the air there by Jones, who's had a solid game in the midfield for Presentation College. Hasn't given it away a, a whole lot yet. He's an organized player, Jones. Unlike some of his colleagues who have... Uh, Played a lot of errant passes and given away the ball. Jones has managed to keep it going. And there's another one that's given yeah, away. Just this giving time it young. away. And this, this is the, 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 the hallmark of presentation game today. They're just giving it away. Simple passes and they're just giving it away. Edwards, some skill there. Three men inside the box. Edwards is bearing down on goal. And he gets the shot off. Oh, and that's a situation where you really have to drive it across goal. Mm -hmm. There were players in the box. I think he, he had he had the chance to put it across the goal for 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 his teammate there. Well, may have seen his name in the headlines tomorrow already. But you have to play today, not uh, for what's happening tomorrow. Presentation College, two goals ahead now, and there's your goal scorer Barkley. That's chested down beautifully for Brathwaite. Great ball again. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Edwards now he can. Let's see if he will cross it this time. Goes one time, and Brathwaite misses it. Here's a shot, and that has been stopped on the line. That was a weak shot there. 
Yeah, he had enough time to pick his spot. But and he just hit it straight at the keeper. Yeah, a great chance there for Jacob to put his name on the score sheet. And uh, he had... He I think he had too much time. Too much time. He had. He just tried to pass, and I think he needed a bit more power. 60th minute here, and a presentation now doubling their lead. 57 minute uh, for Barclay, and that's a, a wonderful free kick over the. And you were talking about that in the previous game. Uh, they were trying to to blast the ball when just getting it over the wall and towards goal may have been enough to get. Uh, to get one in he could have even passed it back in inside <laughs> inside because, that's because right. one of his teammates was, was so free yeah there were several presentation players waiting for a cutback that never came so comfortable c conditions here for the presentation college uh, team as they're up against uh, the Shaquanas North so we've seen four goals for the day and all four of them going to the Southern Giants Presentation College and Napa River College, those two winning the main titles in 2019, the last time that the Secondary Schools Football League was played. Napa River winning the National League title and a presentation, the Intercall, the knockout competition. First time, I, I believe, in 44 years, uh, presentation getting the win there, and uh, that was a huge moment for the college. Oh, he's still gotten through again here, but uh, the shot is straight at the keeper. And uh, yes. I tell you what, Edwards has done very well since he's come on. He's been purposeful, he's been direct, and he is providing something for the Shaguanas Shagu North coach to think about on the right side. Little man Raymond loses out. Three presentation players there to tame the little man down. Tried to do a bit too much. Yeah, and uh, still in the thick of action there. Well, it's, uh, have made uh, another substitution as we mentioned and uh, after the goal there we did not identify the player for you but we'll do so now and uh, that's another aimless pass, pass that trips out of play on the far side it's Hezekiah John who's come on George seems to be having needs to calm himself down I think he's trying to do a bit too much he's giving away the ball too easily from, from the position that he's playing he needs to be in charge of the game but I mentioned he hadn't played too many bad passes. Well, there was one. Yeah, he certainly just passed that straight out of the play on the far side. And this was the hallmark. And this is what I'm keep sp speaking about. This was the hallmark of presentation games today. They have just, just errant passes. That has been the recurring decimal that the one they want they haven't wanted here at Presentation College. What George might be thinking about a crack from distance here. Here's the impressive young Edwards. Oh. And it's headed towards goal. And that's a weak effort there by weak Malik. Effort. He had so Rathmate. many time. So much time there. And Raymond is robbed of it. Presentation have it in a dangerous area here. Raymond who certainly knows how to use his small frame. Look at him. He's just battling away. Trying to regain possession for his team. And, and this could be very dangerous. Could be dangerous for the keeper who's done well. Raymond has done well to catch that one. <laughs> almost gave it up there to Barkley. Uh, almost knocked his captain down there also, Raymond. I think presentation has stepped up their game. Certainly have. Here's uh, Cooper stepping forward into the midfield to rob that one, take that one off the Shaguanas North team. Is that too far ahead of Jacob? No. He manages to Keep catch up in. with it. Looking for Jones. Jones, that's a lovely move. Jones with the cross. Oh, that's uh, just hitting the back foot of the player in front of him. I think John had a shot there. I think he would have spanked it with this lovely left foot that he has. Yeah, and the move to get past the defender was yes. certainly a nice bit of trickery there from, from uh, Jones. Done all the hard work. So the boys from Carib Street uh, in, in San Fernando Presentation College mentioned coffee street we were sternly corrected during yes the, yes the half time break by some former prez students students so apologies for that it's carib street his presentation now looking to put the dot on another fine attack here but, uh, just running out of steam there for the moment 
what do you expect from uh, somebody who went to the school across the valley? Or what I know about uh, college uh, for Carib or Coffee Street? Oh. Well, I, I've been, I don't know. <laughs> the only difference is the both of them are drinks. <laughs> <laughs> There is uh, Edwards here looking to get the cross in. Four inside the box. Two of them there. This could be a chance for Presentation College. It's cleared. Well, too many cooks inside. All of them staring at each other. And that's this one's curled in towards the far post. And Jacob got under that one. Goal kick. Certainly Just need to get over this one, this shot. But he leans back a bit too much and went a bit over bars. Yeah, the ball's always going to rise from there. That's a strong tackle coming in there by Cooper. And that was on uh, the new man who's come on, uh, John. And as you defenders like to do, you want to leave your mark on the new man who's come on. Let him know that you're, you're, you're around. You're, you're around. He's a minnow in a tank full of predators. Uh, North will have to contend with a new threat as uh, presentation get ready to bring on another substitute here. Great interception. Oh, that was uh, John who picked up the ball, and uh, that's free kick. Several members of the crowd disagreeing with the referee's decision. John has been doing some great work defensively, but when he has it in possession to go forward he's just losing it in a bit i think he needs to concentrate a bit more on his passing when he has it it's a great touch That's lewis uh, nice bit of play to start off but uh, the rest of it lost the ball right after that and this could be dangerous here oh, it uh, could have been barkley could have gotten in a run on goal remember he's looking for a hat trick for presentation college here Much better look uh, to a presentation college in the second half. Yes. Certainly a more energy in their play. George has featured a bit more prominently in the second half also. And, and this is what I've been talking about first half. They lost the play. Now they are looking more like they want to win this game. Yeah, more incisive passing. And certainly scoring two goals has helped them. Exactly. Uh, their confidence. And scoring uh, goals do, 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 do help confidence. Chikonos have not found a way to curb the rise of confidence in this presentation team. As the Liverpool coach uh, Jurgen Klopp says, confidence is a little flower that you need to step on. Haven't been able to do that just yet. At least uh, not, uh, they haven't been able to get uh, a reasonable amount of pressure on this presentation team to give them something to think about. It's been sporadic yes, race. Sporadic. That's passed, uh, that pass is cut out. George was waiting for it. Cooper might have to go all the way back to his keeper. This might be the first touch that Lazarus has had in the second half. It's very good with his feet, uh, Kanye Lazarus. This could be dangerous here. Well, Shigwana's not oh. looking for the shot from distance. That was Lewis. And uh, yeah, he had players to his left and right. Went uh, for the direct option. Apologizes to everyone around him, including his coach. Presentation seems to give in, give give Shagonas not a uh, some glimpse, some glimpse of hope, glimpse of hope. Yeah, they haven't exactly destroyed their confidence, stepped on yeah. it. You can clap like uh, through this game. They have given them glimpses, as you said. Oh, that's a heavy tackle, and that will go the way of the Shagonas North captain David, who rose high to make that uh, clearance. Yeah, Barkley is a. Uh, forward he has some trickery in his feet and uh, body positioning has been good rose very high there that time Raymond uh, kicks that one forward but uh, slips in the process it's the other Raymond this is Aaron Raymond in goal is Aiden which uh, does uh, support my theory that they're brothers some families love to have names uh, with the same letters at the top of it Great run here. This one's knocked in. Oh, that's a good Great pass. Run. But Raymond uh, was left scrambling at the far post. Couldn't get in on the right position for the tap in. 
the presentation needs to be smart slow the game down a bit they are about to make a change here presentation college and uh, they have brought on they're about to bring on Vaughn Clement and uh, Vaughn Clement is heading on and is that uh, George who's come off Jones in fact uh, might be the man who sacrificed It is Jones who comes off uh, for Clement. So Clement is going to slot into that that uh, midfield position. Let's see where he goes. Clement does well to get that away. Here's Brathwaite. Here's Barkley. That's a nice move there from Presentation College. This could be the opening goal again. Oh, oh that's offside. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Uh, the assisted referee on the far side had to flag up. So that would not have counted. But... Uh, great start to Clement there, shown a nice first touch to start with. Almost uh, got a goal with his first touch yeah, of the match. I think, uh, very surprising, it was a being call offside, came off the defender. Yeah, that's, uh, well, there seemed to be, the official on the far side seemed to be in two minds because he put up a flag and then pulled it back down quickly. It wasn't a pass. But I, I think he was in the offside position before the shot was taken. So that's why I think the flag went up. Young for Presentation College. And uh, they just managed to get it away from uh, Clement. Substitute who's come on. Here is Chaguanus North. And this is Lewis. He's uh, shown some fine touches in this match. He's had to come all the way back just outside of his box to get any kind of touch on the ball. Better here from Chaguanus North. Here is, well, just as they looked... Uh, Try to cleave through the center of this presentation mm. college team. Yes. The tackle gets it away from them. Barkley, touch. nice touch again from him. He's in a, playing in a deeper position now. Here is Brassweight. Brassweight was robbed of it, and now it's a comeback to Shaguanas North. And uh, that was a foul that has been given to the team in uh, blue and black. A free kick for Shaguanos North. Yes. And uh, Richards is getting a, having a little conversation with the official. I think uh, there must might be some mud in his face. So he's just wiped that off and he's ready to continue. Richards with those bright orange boots of his. Don't think there were bright orange boots in your day, Sid? Uh, yes, they, they, oh, they, were, they, were. they were. They were. I thought they were all black in those days. No, no. I've played, I've played in some colors as well. I've played in green. I've played in red. Just teasing our co comment He's not that old, by yeah. the way. <laughs> there were colored boots in those days. There was a time, however, in the 70s and up to the 80s where they were all, all black. All black, that's right. I've played in so many colors. I've even played in white as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even in the NFL, the other yes. type of football, uh, it was all black at one point and then. Uh, that quarterback by the name of Joe Namath wore a white pair of shoes and then the revolution started. Yes. Uh, I've, I've played in a multicolored one of well, that that one is called Ronaldo. Man of many colors. Yes, psychedelic. So many colors in. Sure you've had the predator on your foot at some point. Sometime. Seventy third minute here and uh, presentation college leading comfortably two goals by Barclay, forty first and fifty seventh minute, and uh, they look to wrap up the three points and continue their solid march uh, towards the semi finals of the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League Premiership competition. Of course, there's the championship, and we have been bringing you matches here on Tiger Sports International cha of the championship matches, also the girls championship. And uh, Sid has pulled out a picture of himself wearing one of the the red predators. Is that it? No, this is a special puma. A, st a special one. And uh, of course, uh, that was in his national outfit. Is that a ground in? Is that in England? It looks like. In England, yes. Yeah, it does uh, look like England. One of the warm-up matches for the Soka Warriors before going to the World, World Cup. Cup. I think that's against Iceland. That guy looks a bit slimmer, though. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll let that pass. 
16 <laughs> minutes to go here. <laughs> Whoever he is, that, by the way. 16 minutes to go here, and that's a heavy tackle. And uh, there's a yellow card. We haven't seen a yellow card so far for the game. Uh, we've yeah, seen the first a, yeah, one now. very strong tackle there. Uh, we've seen the first appearance of the Presentation College Physio. Natalie, no, second appearance, correction. Natalie Charles uh, is on. I'm uh, looking she, down the list she, of the... She hasn't have a busy day like, 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 no, a, like, like, like a next... A uh, counterpart uh, from Pleasantville, from yeah. Pleasantville. Yeah, a very busy day for a counterpart there. Natalie Charles, the physio. Jefferson George... Uh, well-known name, uh, of course, in uh, coaching in Trinidad and Tobago and, of course, on the field of play during his time. Dunstan Williams, uh, goalkeeping coach and yes. goal former goalkeeper. Yes. Roland Atwell, the manager of the team. And here's an interesting name. The equipment manager, Mr. Mahadeo, is Mancini Mahadeo. Of course, uh, named after the great... <laughs> Mancini. Yeah, Mancini, former Sampdoria yeah. player and won the Serie A in the 1980s, late 1980s. Uh, played on that uh, fabulous team that uh, included Gianluca Viali, and uh, that was that was a great team, wasn't it? Uh, they won the Serie A much against the run of play. Sampdoria uh, getting that win, and uh, certainly his name lives on here, Mancini. I am hoping that's why he's named Mancini, though. It's, it could also be Henry Mancini, uh, the great composer. Both yeah, spelled the same goal. way. Lovely bit of great play! Goal. Oh, that's oh. going to be a spectacular Lucky goal! Man. And that was Edwards. Why? That was a sumptuous bit of play. Getting past the defender, yes. Mikael Edwards, yes. and uh, slamming oh. that one in. Great left foot shot. Yeah. Well, a bit unlucky. Just didn't dip in time there. Mikhail Edwards looking like Carlos Edwards there, the way he cut in and shot left footed. That was great. Very similar to the Carlos Edwards, uh, the former Trinidad and Tobago player, actually scored a similar one for Luton Town. Yes. Uh, which uh, was the goal of the season, I understand, uh, back in that year. Uh, it be an uh, early part of this century, but it, uh, if, you, if you've never seen it, check it out on YouTube. It is a fabulous goal. It's very similar to that one. Presentation College. Here's uh, another pass that has left Barclay in a position here. Their players queuing up at the far side for the shot. And when the shot came from Brathwaite, it was deflected that into the arms of the keeper. keeper. Presentation has stepped it up now. This is the presentation I have known. Yeah, they're going for the jugular now, Presentation yeah. College. Handball there by Lewis. And Presentation are not taking this from the right position. Uh, Cecile Hines was almost daring the player. Take it here. You're going to have to put it, put it back. Don't think it's still in the right position here, but at least it's a bit closer. Here's Cooper. Not enough uh, height on that pass or velocity. Young. Now it uh, comes all the way back here. And this is the Two players. new man on for Presentation College. And that is... Uh, H. Saunders, who's on. Oh. Saunders on, on the left-hand side. Uh, he's uh, very much left-footed, so we'll expect to see him give them some width and perhaps try to go round the defender, provide some width down the left-hand side. As the coach of the Chiguanus North team, that's uh, Anson Raymond, He's kept presentation down to 2-0. Uh, I know there, there are no points for losing, but uh, certainly a bit encouraged here. At least it's not 17 or 18 goals, as, yes. uh, or the 13 that they got against uh, uh, the San Juan team. And certainly, less, when you, you've, seen a, you've seen a, a fair amount of the plays so far. There have been some impressive teams. San Juan really looked like one of the favorites for this title. San Juan seems to be very clinical around the goal yeah plus they have uh, they have a very good goal scorer in Larry Noel who's in a rich vein of form here's Saunders now can he get it on the end of it he's pushed over well the referee has ruled that shoulder to shoulder and uh, tell you what <laughs> and this is a strong one is coming oh, in here another strong oh. tackle there and this time it was Cooper. it was Cooper yeah 
A tackle that brought a smile to the face of Sid Gray. Cooper, Cooper has shown that you played my, 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 my strikers hard. I'll, I'll give you back your strikers the same, same treatment. Yeah. No nonsense defender. Every action is an equal and opposite yeah. reaction, action. he's saying. Coaching the words of Newton. It's the call here. Uh, it is a free kick and it will go uh, throw in in fact that one went out uh, very early and certainly just like uh, Pleasantville Shaguanus North can draw a lot of positives from this play from yes. this uh, game here today and uh, they are another one of the teams who are in a relegation dogfight at the bottom of group B so they will certainly want to ensure that they can survive and this could be dangerous here very very dangerous it's Clement great, great who's trying defending. to break clear and that is the skipper is that the skipper again no it is uh, this time it is Thomas Thomas and uh, the skipper David have uh, provided a good combination at the center there for Shaguanas North Shaguanas North, uh, Karapi Chima and uh, Presentation College uh, Shaguanas. They were the three top teams in the central, the old central division as sure. it was. And uh, Shaguanas North maybe, maybe the third of the apostles uh, involved there. That's a great cross nice, pass. Nice uh, pass there by Saunders. Gets into the area. Here is the impressive Edwards. Look at the play from Edwards. Oh, a chance here! Oh, great. And Saunders. Great block. That was uh, off the boot of Clement. And uh, what a wonderful block that was by David. Got in the way of that. The Shaguanas North captain. Raymond has won the throw in for his team. He's tripped it out of the game. Little man Raymond. Oh, he has a nasty nice little slipper. Here's the yeah. chance again. A and good defending. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a good bit of play by Clement also, who took yeah. down what it wasn't the easiest of balls. It was just in that in-between position as the keeper has to come for it here for presentation. Just that in-between position where it's between your thigh and uh, your your ankle. But it, that, and it was did a, well. that, that was a great touch. Yeah, the first touch was, was brilliant. Very brilliant. Uh, the second touch, and he hit it almost uh, instantaneously. But the defender did so well because that was point blank range. That would have gone in. Under eight minutes to go here as uh, Presentation uh, College look to wrap up uh, the three points against uh, their opponents from uh, Shaguanas North. In uh, years gone by in the old format as we watch uh, also inspired looking run here by Young this in the old corner. format. He's going to get a corner. Yes. Presentation and uh, a Shaguanas team would have only met in the quarterfinals of some competition. Yeah, the Intercol or the Big Five. Not so much now. Uh, the idea of the Premier League certainly drawing from the idea of the Premiership in English football and uh, a different structure and it certainly has added something to the competition. Yes, yeah, I think the competition has, has brought out more com uh, greater competition between between teams because uh, you are getting the best of the best from each zones playing in, in the top division. I think that that's a good idea. Although sometimes some top teams from other division might not be could be better than some but not all not all but we can hope for the best not a corner this time on the far side that one drifted over and uh, was put out of play by Shaquanas North and uh, what it has done it has improved the quality of uh, the lesser of the apostles uh, let's say uh, the central zone who would normally get knocked out very early yes uh, there was the exception where Shaquanas North got into the finals of the intercall competition lost out to Mikurapu right here at uh, the Atterbolden Stadium. Uh, Kevin Molino, one of the scorers that day uh, for Mucarapu. Swept it in towards the near side. Saunders is there as well as Clement. And uh, Captain Courageous David is there to knock it out of play. The presentation supporters are starting their chants. Some of those chants we can't repeat on air and, and they can never be printed on the newspaper either. So if you're hearing them right now, apologies for that. Just a few minutes now. It's all about game management for presentation as they look to stretch out uh, this Shaguanas North defense yes, once yes, again. Shaguanas North seems to be a bit tired now. Yeah, this is a great ball. This is a good ball. And he's gone and down. That's a penalty. Here, it's a penalty. 
Clement was knocked over and he's uh, won a penalty for Presentation Tisha. College. Great piece of skill there. Yeah, he pulled it. Yeah, yeah it was a lovely well, piece of skill. skill but the trailing leg of the defender bringing him down. So a chance here in minute 85 for Presentation to go 3-0 ahead. And who's going to take this? Well, it should be Barkley. It has to be Barkley. He has two goals. He can get his hat trick. Why not give him the chance? chance? Clement said, I created a penalty. I am taking this penalty. Well, here. Barkley was actually beseeching his captain to take it. Why not give him the chance to get his hat trick? How often are you going to get a hat trick in secondary schools football? But he's uh, been left uh, looking very disappointed as uh, Clement is going to take the penalty. Referee Hines making sure that everyone is behind the D here. And she's waiting for just about to, to give Clement the chance to win perhaps his win uh, to get his goal here. Raymond, let's see what he can do. He's moving side to side, trying to get into the mind here of the kicker, Clement. Here's Clement. Hits it right, foot it into the corner. Presentation on ahead. 3-0. 86 minutes. And that 3-0 for Prez. They will wrap up the three points. And that's a great penalty. No keeper in the world would have got there. A great side foot down in the corner yeah you still have to feel disappointed there uh, for Barkley who really should have been given the chance to get uh, his hat trick I thought Barkley would have run and take the ball from him my 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 hat trick here today well if it's, his last name was Neymar I'm sure he would have done that and uh, but perhaps he still might get a chance here uh, Barkley but uh, that was a great bit of play by Clement uh, and the move to get the ball back onto his uh, left foot. Uh, and you could see what he was going to try there. Pull the ball back uh, Maradona style yes, and the then Cruyff, sweep it into as the corner. Call yes, the Cruyff. The Cruyff. <laughs> Cruyff did. Here is uh, David with the free kick for Shaguanas North. Can they get at least the consolation out of this game? In towards the keeper. keeper. That's uh, easy for Lazarus. Well, it's never really easy when you're a keeper out there, but he made that one look a lot simpler than it was. Can he Lazarus gets that's them going great again? Goal. That's a great kick. What a kick great that distribution. was. Wonderful bit of distribution there from to Saunders. He didn't have to move an inch, and that one dropped exactly offside. on his inside. I think that's offside. offside. Yeah, he was in an offside position. George, well, we haven't called his name much because he hasn't had a lot of service up on the left hand side for Shaguanas North but uh, when you're playing in a game like this you you have to steal your mind to the fact that you're not going to get many opportunities and you have to make the best use oh, of them uh, and, he, and he didn't there because you're looking down the line of defenders yes. how can you find yourself offside? An offside I think he was a bit eager yes <laughs> uh, that might be the understatement of the year he was way beyond the last defender there see when you are not getting the ball as as often as possible you'll be so eager that's right exactly right uh, and uh, got beyond the last defender well, Shaquanos North looking to take that one quickly but a good reading of the game there by Jacob who just uh, stood in front of the kicker made sure that he had to wait until presentation got bodies back two and a half minutes and to go here and presentation ahead 3-0 headed away by Barkley and, uh, with the two players coming on, that's Edwards and uh, well, Jacob being pushed up into a more advanced position. Barkley has dropped back into the midfield. That's why he hasn't been getting quite as many, many touches. touches. Another injury here. And the presentation physio is heading on, Natalie Charles. And uh, she's going to head on there. It might be a touch of cramp again. Let's see how the... Injury is treated. Cecile Hines looking on. And she's also called for the stretcher. So I think she wants to hustle the game yeah, along no, here. Along on because we are into the 89 minute here. Yeah, well, this game has been over as a contest for some while. Yes. Barkley goals in the 41st and 57th minute. Clement with the goal in the 86th minute. And uh, presentation now a minute and a half away uh, from victory here in uh, this uh, fixture. Tiger Tank Secondary Schools uh, Football League at the Atto Bolden Stadium. Hope you've enjoyed the, the presentation. Video Ramble alongside Sid Gray here. And uh, the man who is injured is Edwards, the impressive winger who's come on for presentation in the second half. Didn't he change the dynamic of the I game? I think he did. He has created a lot of chances on, on, on the right-hand side. He has taken on the defense. 
and put try to put the ball in the box as quick as possible and and this has changed the game for presentation and it's also fired up the players on the left side of the field for press because they've started they started after that doing the same thing and uh, of course that would have been the instructions for from Sean Cooper and uh, he's looked less animated in the second half he's more relaxed yeah he's looking a bit more relaxed two goals in the second half but uh, still not uh, maybe a vintage presentation college performance yes. even in the second half I think but, but I think a he was big he, yes a big improvement from the from the first half because I know he was a bit upset in the first half yeah, and you could have seen it and he should have been well, from his uh, players the players did not perform as well as they should uh, there certainly was uh, I'm sure there was smoke coming out of his ears the Sean Cooper yes and this is the, the, the difference you know sometimes we, we take teams for granted and when you go lackadaisical that you feel that you should be winning you, you you perform less you need to go out there and take them apart and then you relax when you are up four and five goals we're into time added on for stoppages now presentation college can't keep that in play but uh, Shaquanos North uh, got a corner there and uh, Raymond was the one who got it in. And it was just a few inches away from Aqui. And his attempts to get the shot on goal. There's Raymond again. And look at that. They, as soon as he gets anywhere near to the ball, uh, the two bigger players, George and Cooper, around him. Yes, yes. Like, uh, but he, he's, very, he's a very nippy player. Yeah, he certainly is. When, he, when he's on the ball. I like, I like his, his, his style. Uh, he has a goal for the season. I told you about that free kick that he hit against Malik. Certainly the Malik keeper would remember him for a long time. It's a really good free kick into the wind. And he used the conditions so well. From the left side of the field into the wind and curling it round. There was an incredible amount of bend. Uh, he hasn't had the same opportunity here. We are a minute into time added on for stoppages in the second half. Quite a few injuries. And uh, players suffering from cramp in the second half. Acqui has slid out uh, to knock that one out to and the far side and, that's, and, that's and there's the final and whistle. whistle just a minute and 10 seconds added and presentation college celebrate a solid victory here hasn't been one of their best performances of the season but they will take the three points and the three goals uh, with their usual good graces Barclay in the 41st and 57th minute and Clement in the 86th minute after winning the penalty decided to take it himself presentation college the juggernaut continues to roll on Yes, yeah, some presentation seems to be rolling on here. Uh, although I think for the first half, they were a bit lackadaisical. Second half, they came out and they have pushed their, their game to a higher level. And that, that's what I expected of, of presentation in the second half. Yeah. I expected this in the first half, but sometimes you take your foot off the pedal when you think you are playing a less of a team. And and, uh, which we should not have taken no team for granted. Yes, and uh, maybe there was a bit of complacency thinking they would run over this Chaguanas North team, but any ideas that that was going to happen were certainly knocked back uh, by a very good performance from Chaguanas North, especially in the first uh, 40 minutes of the first half where they held presentation at bay. But once Barclay scored in the 41st minute, you knew that uh, they were going to be fired up for the second half presentation, and they were two goals in the second half, and they have run out uh, winners uh, by three goals to nil here. Now, what's happening uh, in the next round? Well, uh, presentation college uh, will be in action on uh, on Wednesday, so we'll tell you a little bit about that uh, a little bit later on. But said a few comments here on what's happened here today. Uh, presentation deserves a win, but I think Shogun has not had put up a, 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 a sturdy fight before the first goal and um, I have to give um, Shogunas North some compliments because of, of their, their, their style of play defensive wise that I think they could have done much better going forward right so in the premiership in uh, the next round of competition well on today don't forget also on today San Juan North against uh, East Mucarapo QRC against uh, Trinity and Maruga play Malik today the next assignment for both teams well, Presentation College will come up against QRC. They're going up to Port of Spain to play against QRC. There is a double header on next uh, Saturday. Chaguanas North will be there as part of the uh, first game at 2 p.m. They will be playing Maruga Secondary at uh, QRC grounds. At least that's uh, the fixtures as stated for us here today. 
Sid, it's been a pleasure working with you once again. Thanks so much for being with us here. And thank you uh, for joining us for this doubleheader here at the Atterbolden Stadium. Napriema College beat Pleasantville by two goals to nil. And in the second game, presentation defeat Shaguanas North by three goals to nil. And On behalf of Sid Gray and the rest of the team, uh, Sid, you wanted to see a final comment? Uh, Vinu, I have to say um, it's been a pleasure working with you today. And um, I'll be love seeing working with you in the near future again. And... and uh, presentation college congratulations on their win and we'll see you all next day so that's going to be it here for us on behalf of uh, sid and the rest of the crew here at the antibolden stadium i'm video ramfall bye for now <laughs>